Hey you guys, so I wanted to um, put this audio and it's in regards to the movement of the masculine energy. Um, but it was so much of a 3D world today that that was the feeling that I was getting in regards to the masculine. You know, even though, of course, he's listening to the signs, he's looking at the synchronicities and knows, and the movement is moving forward. But, you know, then the 3D matrix happens, right? Um, you definitely get in the caught up in the mix of, you know, the 3D world, right? And it's like you are getting, you know, torn between two, right? And moving into a phase in your life that, you know, you are being called to, yet you are still in the shackles. Hey, you guys. So I want to continue with the energy update, the movement of the masculine energy. And yes... So, you know, be careful what you wish for, right? Because then you'll get it. And definitely, we, the Divine Feminines, have a perspective on the masculine's life. And for that, yesterday was so much of a 3D world. And, you know, that's what basically gave us so much confirmation that, you know, they are so deep in their 3D world that it's, it's challenging to choose, you know, a different route, you know, especially if this is all they know, right? And... The way that the Divine Feminines were really feeling this was... And the way that the the Divine Feminines were feeling, sorry about that, (laughs) Um, was that really just engaging in more of a 3D world, right? It was exhausting and even... You know, there were things that were coming in, 3D things that were coming in. We stayed focused, you know, on what we need to do and not get overwhelmed. And because the energy, you know, it's such a strong energy that the masculines have here in the 3D world that, you know, we had a taste of it yesterday and felt very exhausting, very dedicated, uh, you know, if they're, you know, to their work, they're very dedicated to their work, but that's all you see. That's all they know. Um, and as I'm doing this, is two, two, two. And the feeling that I was getting, um, that the Divine Feminine were feeling was, um, you know, we were still trying to maintain alignment and you know, when things would be kind of rough <laughs> and feathered up, uh, we still maintained our our focus, right? And, you know, we gave, you know, just so we can get to, you know, back to alignment. So there would, th- there would be things that would be coming in. And um, one of the things that was like not being able to speak... Uh, Like, it was kind of like, ugh, like, you wouldn't be able to fully um, put those words out, right? Um, Or feeling in a way of compatic, right? And, but we still maintained our alignment, and I think that was helping the masculine energy to move forward through this, right? Um, And it was such an experience. 
they are giving you that uh, feeling uh, that you know you just you are so engaged in this that you don't have any time for anything else you know that this is literally your life you just work 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 like machine and you know you're coming out of you know save you're coming out of work this is the energy that I much you know I felt it's like that you are just exhausted by all means you know um, and all that you want to do is just have quietness and have peace <laughs> of mind right because even like that you know, you were done with what you had to do, say, with work. And it's much of this energy that it's that it's all what the Divine Masculine does. And, you know, even the head was throbbing, you know, throughout, you know, the way to the house. And even to just put a, you know, a phase of not being you know, not being exhausted, being able to have some communication, you know, to engage with your family, you know, and with even like that, you know, there were little triggers here and there in regards to family, you know, one particular person, and it's like, you know, projecting things, right? And it could be that that other person had a bad day too. But with a lack of communication, there's not really um, an open airway to bring in that communication in order for them to balance out um, what needs to be said, right? So both parties, you know, in just trying to able just to keep your composure right to be able to okay I fulfilled my duties at the work now it's time to fulfill my duties here at the home save with children right things that are related to the home and if that right try to do that and you you do you take action you really move forward push forward to that but, and all you want to do is just have some sanctuary for yourself, right? So a lot of ruckus, it doesn't even, you know, it keeps you to a place that you just don't want to talk to anybody. That you just want to just be just with yourself, relax, and just not deal with nothing. Right? And all you want to do is just go to sleep, you know, and just have that time for yourself, right? Uh, you know, not even, like, no music, not engaging with anything. All you want to do is just be closed off, right? And just be able to, you know, re-energize your body, right? So that was the feeling that I was getting yesterday. And even this morning, I was feeling that energy, right? After, you know, such of a chaos, right? With the energy of the masculine, right? Here in the 3D world, you know, he does have some soft areas to him. And that is you know, his heart, you know, and whether it's a time that he's able to, you know, breathe from the 3D world, he does reminisce about the divine feminine, right? And, but it's just, you know, in that moment, you know, it reminds us that he does also have heart and he does also have feelings, but it's just were his circumstances, were he at this point in time in which he is 
noticing that this is not all that he is. He's not just a working machine. He's not just a robot. You know, he is finding out that there's more to him than, you know, what he has been doing, right? And so that is the feeling that I got. And, you know, it's the movement. It's the movement of the masculine, right? You know, with the divine feminines are still keeping strong, right? And, you know, what they are doing is, you know, confirmation, right? And as I was saying in regards to the divine feminine, you know, they're really keeping strong in this. And it's not so much that... Um, that they're focused on the masculine is that they're working on their masculine. They are using their masculine energy within themselves to move forward to their new chapter, right? You know, get things done, right? But also uh, be in alignment with her divine feminine, right? And you can say now that the twin flame they are working hand in hand in a level that they had not done before i think before it was right um mirroring each other right and putting what they needed to work on right it's like boom it's like oh my goodness right <laughs> um but you know as we are moving forward um both of us in our individual way, um, it, it feels more up, more lighter and the twin flame, uh, the clearing, right, of the karma, right? So that is um, what I have for you guys. Much love. Remember, it is a process, so just like any other thing is a process and it, it it takes our time right so all we you know all we understand is that a process can never go back right so it puts, it's always moving forward right in their time divine timing and when it is called upon all right you guys until next time much love for you guys and peace and love. Bye.